Hey you guys, it's Star. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I hope you're having a good day or night whenever you are watching. So yes, yes y'all, we are back at CVS and we're about to get into some of the best deals that you can do this week. Y'all know how I do. We're not going to waste any time. Let's jump right into it. So first deal we're going to do is this spend 15 and get back five on Kotex. I got a comment maybe a week or two ago. Somebody was like, I need a deal on some tampons. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to grab some tampons to get started. Even though we don't have any manufacturer coupons on these, we do have 800 kicks back on Shopkick. So we're going to grab one of the tampons, the U by Kotex for $6.29. We're going to be submitting back for 800 kicks. Then I'm also going to be grabbing one pack of pads. These are $8.69. I'm going to get one of these big packs right here. I'm going to be using the $2 manufacturer coupon on these. I also have a three off of 10 feminine care CRT I'm going to add in. So this is my complete spin 15, get back five Kotex deal. I'm going to be submitting back on Shopkick for both of these items. So for this item, I think I said I had 800 kicks, but we actually have 850 kicks for this plus 15 scan kicks and then for the pads we also have a kick offer we have 350 kicks plus 15 scan kicks so total kicks i have is 1230 kicks for both of these items now to figure out on shop kick how many kicks equal up to a dollar you have to divide the amount by 250 so when we divide 1230 kicks by 250 we come up with four dollars and 92 cents so we're gonna get in cash back from Shopkick. so our total before our coupons is 14.98 for these items this is uh, 869 and then this one is 629 so 1498 with the 98% rule that is in the clear if your store does not observe the 98% rule then just pick up an 899 pack instead of the 869 pack but at 1498 using the two dollar manufacturer coupon on the pads plus the three off of 10 I'm gonna pay 998 at the register then we're gonna get back five dollars in extra bucks for spending 15 and I'm also going to get back $4.92 from Shopkick. That makes my final cost for these two items just $0.06 cents or $0.03 cents each. Or as Matt would say, this is super free, you guys. So super free tampons and pads to get us started. You guys, don't ask me what this Excedrin product is. I really don't know. But it is a decent deal this week, especially if you want to combine it with a percentage off coupon. So Excedrin products are actually spend 20, get back 10 this week. We have a $3 digital for this right here. And we also have four, I have a $4 off of 20 pain relief CRT. So if you have that too, you would end up paying $13.99 and then getting back 10, making this only $3.99, all the way down from its original price of $20.99. Now, if you have a percentage off coupon, you can easily turn this into a freebie or a super cheap item if you want to add in like a 30% or a 20% coupon. But do keep in mind that you want to do this deal in store versus online since it is a spin deal and not a buy deal if you're going to add in that percentage off coupon. So because I don't know what that other product is, I'm going to be doing my spin 20 deal on the regular Excedrin instead. So these are $6.99. These are also included in the spin 20 get back 10. You can grab these right here. You can also get the ones that are $6.99. If you want to, you can also get bigger ones because you'll probably get more actual medicine if you grab the bigger ones. But I'm going to go for the cheaper deal and I'm going to grab three boxes of these that are $6.99. So these three are going to total me up to $20.97. I am going to be using $3.50 coupons. We have a digital coupon. You could also submit back for the coupons.com app. And we have paper coupons in today's inserts. So use whichever you prefer or mix and match. I am going to be using one digital plus two of the paper ones and a four off of 20 pain relief CRT. After those coupons, I'm going to pay $12.47. Then I'm going to get back a $10 extra buck. Going to make my final cost just $2.47 for all three boxes. Another easy pain relief deal that anyone can do with no coupons required is on the Be Cool Temple Roll-On. So these are actually on sale for $3 off this week. So they're $5.99. Ibotta is giving back $4.50, which will make your final cost for this 
just a dollar and 49 cents so this week we have a lot of different deodorant deals and most of them anyone can do so i'm going to give you all of the different breakdowns that you can do this week to score some super cheap or free deodorant so first deal up is on the old spice so this deal got a little bit better this week versus last week so this week when we buy two of these we're going to get back three dollars in extra bucks and we still have that five off of three digital coupon. All right, y'all, so picking up three of these at $5.99, buy one, get one 50% off, equals $15.57. You wanna use that five off of three digital coupon, that'll bring you down to $10.57. Then you're gonna get back $3 in extra bucks, and you can submit over to Ibotta for $2 on each one. So that's $6 in cash back and $3 in CVS money. Makes your final cost just $1.57 for all three or $0.52 cents each. The next deal you can grab is on the Degree Deodorant. You can grab this deal with no coupons needed or you can do it with coupons. I'm going to show you two different ways. So first deal up, let's grab these ones that are $4.99. They're buy one, get one 50% off, and buy two, get back five. So these two at $4.99, buy one, get one 50% off, total up to $7.48. With no coupons needed, you could buy these, pay $7.48, and then get back $5 in extra bucks. Makes them only $1.24 each. The next way you could do it is picking up two of the premium deodorants for $6.29, buy one, get one 50% off, they're also buy to get back five. So these two premium deodorants would total up to $9.43. I would use two of these $1 printable coupons from the Unilever emails. That would bring me down to $7.43 at the register. So you'd pay out $7.43, then get back $5 in extra bucks. And on Fetch Rewards, I also have $1.25 back on each one. It'll make both of these completely free. So I wanted to try this deal with the spray deodorant because we have a two off of two digital using the four off of two paper coupon. If you can use that, then that would be $6 coming off between both coupons, leaving us to pay only $4.93 at the register and then getting back the $5 extra buck, making those already free. And then we also have, you can check your Fetch account. Some accounts will have this rebate as well, making them a money maker. Now, when I went up to the register, only the $4 coupon worked. The $2 did not come off. So you end up paying $6.93 for the two spray deodorants and then getting back the $5 extra buck. But then I also got back $3 from Fetch Rewards. So two of them were still free plus a $1 okay, money so maker. So this is gonna be our first transaction. I have the coupons I'm gonna be using pulled over here. Let's see how this deal works. All right, you guys, so let's go over that receipt. This transaction actually worked out to be more expensive for me than I anticipated due to a couple of things. One, the Excedrin. These are actually $7.59, even though they were tagged $6.99 in my store. I just let the uh, store manager know, and she's actually going to give me the price difference on that so I can get that $0.59 cents back on each one of those, which will be helpful. And then also the degree, the Unilever did not double dip for me. So that $2 digital did not come off there. So that was $2 more than I thought or, or hoped it would be. But everything else other than that worked out fine. I did not use a bunch of extra bucks in this deal because I was cashing out to rebate apps. I've been doing that a lot where I've been using so many extra bucks and then cashing out to rebate apps, but that's been leaving me with no extra bucks. So I've been trying to reduce that. So I went on ahead and used $19 in extra bucks, and then I paid the $11.97 out of pocket. And then I submitted back to the rebate app. So I submitted back for my 1,230 kicks on Shopkick, and I also got back $3 from Fetch Rewards. Then of course, I also got back my extra bucks. So I got back $5 for the deodorant. I got back $5 for the Kotex, and I also got back the $10 for the Excedrin. So we got back a total of $27.96 after we paid out $30.96 for that transaction. So that transaction was a total cost of $3. Now I want to stop and announce the winner of this week's $25 CVS e-gift card giveaway. The winner is Angela Plummer. Angela, if you will send me an email at couponingwithstar at gmail.com by Saturday, I will get you verified and get your gift card over your way. And then of course, we're going to do it again. So all you have to do to enter this week's $25 giveaway is leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button 
and be subscribed to the channel. Let's move on to the next deal. Now we're gonna get into our spend 30, get back 10 deal. So for this deal, we're gonna be doing some more Shopkick. So Shopkick got it going on this week. So we're gonna be doing these deals on the Cottonelle on Shopkick and combining that with our $1 manufacturer coupons that you can print from the Scott, I mean the Cottonelle website. So we have $1 coupons on these. These are on sale this week along with the wipes that we're gonna be grabbing as well. So we have 400 kicks back on the wipes and we have 600 kicks back on the uh, toilet paper. So a combination of 1,040 kicks, which is $4.16. We're also gonna be grabbing these 6.8 ounce Downy Unstoppables. These are $6.99, and we're gonna be using the $2 digital coupon. To complete my Spend 30 deal, I'm gonna be grabbing a Tide Liquid Laundry Detergent. These are $12.99. We're gonna be using the $3 digital coupon. All right, you guys, so this is our complete Spend 30 Get 10. This totals up to $29.98. We're gonna be using the $1 paper coupon from the Cottonelle website here, a $2 digital coupon for the Downy, $3 digital coupon for the Tide, and $1 digital coupon for the Cottonelle wipes. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the Cottonelle toilet paper and wipes are two for 10 this week. So all of this is $29.98 before our coupons. After our $7 in manufacturer coupons, we are gonna be down to $22.98 that we need to pay at the register. But then we're gonna get back the $10 in extra bucks and we're gonna submit over to Shopkick for $4.16. Gonna make our final cost $8.82 for all four items. The next thing we're grabbing is an all digital money maker on the Boost. So these are $10.49 and when you buy two, you're gonna get back $6 in extra bucks this week. So these two at buy one, get one 50% off and 1049 will total us up to 1574. I have a $6 off of two and a $5 off of two digital coupon that will both attach and come off, leaving me to pay just 474 at the register. Then I'm gonna get back a $6 extra buck, making these two free, plus a dollar and 26 cent money maker. You guys, my store manager is so sweet. So I had told her that the prices were wrong on the Excedrin. She just came and brought me $3 to make up for me overpaying for that last transaction, literally just brought me this. And I told her, this is too much. I think I only overpaid by like a dollar and 77, but she was like taxes and all of that. You guys, OMG. So that transaction was completely free. I did not expect her to do that. I expected her to like take it off the next transaction or something. So, so sweet. Okay, you guys, so this next transaction is gonna be my transaction using a spin 70, save $10 CVS coupon. We're gonna do the boost, my spin 30 deal, the old spice and the degree. And that totals up to right at $70 so that we can save that 10. So this should work out really, really good. Let's see how this goes. Right, you guys so that transaction went very well there is everything that we got we got the cottonelle we got the downy we got the tide we got the degree we got the old spice we got the boost so everything scanned properly at the register all of our digitals came off and i used a total of 22 dollars in extra bucks that left my subtotal at 1368 and i left that subtotal that high because i wanted to get back that amount in cash from the rebate app so place that on and i bought a gift card and then i did get back a total of 24 dollars in extra bucks so i got back five for the degree deodorant we got back three for the old spice deodorant 10 for the spend 30 and then six for the boost and then i submitted over to the rebate apps for the cash money back so i could be reimbursed for that 13 dollars that i spent i got back the 416 from shopkick i got back the six dollars in cash from ibotta and i got back two dollars and 53 cents from fetch rewards 
So I got back a total of $36.69 after I spent out $35.68. That transaction with our Tide, our Cottonelle, our Boost, all of the deodorant was free plus a dollar and one cent money maker. This week, the CoverGirl, the NYX, the Kiss Cosmetics are all buy to get back a $6 extra buck. There are so many ways that you can do this deal this week. An easy way to do it is to pick up two of the NYX products so you can get like the lip liners. They're as low as $3.99 in some areas. In my area, they're $4.39. So two of them will total you up to $8.78. You can use the $2 instant coupon and pay $6.78 and then get back that $6 in extra bucks, making them only $0.39 cents each. Now, I still had a $4 instant coupon for the CoverGirl, so I decided to go the way of the CoverGirl instead, and I picked up a face product and then one of the eyeliners, and I ended up using the two $4 coupons for each one of those products and the $4 instant coupon. Now, with this deal, I was supposed to pay $0.78 cents after my coupons and then get back the $6 extra buck, making it a $5.21 moneymaker. Now, it was a smaller money maker for me because one of my coupons did reduce down. Let me show you how it worked out. So here is the two CoverGirl items that I got. I used the two $4 coupons and then my $4 CRT took off $3.29 for some reason, brought it down to $1.49 and then I did get back the $6 extra buck. So that should have been a little bit cheaper, but still a $4.49 money maker, I will take it. I was not interested in the L'Oreal L5 this week, but if you still have your three off of two printable coupon, that will work with three off of two digital you can pick up two of these buy two get back four so you'll pay 458 and then get back four dollars and extra bucks making these only 29 cents each I think hydro men's razors are a really good deal this week but i'm gonna pass just because i've been so stocked up on razors lately these are buy two get back a five dollar extra buck and they're on sale for 9.99 so we do have $4 manufacturer coupons and I have a six off of 20 CRT. So with $8 in coupons plus your $6 CVS coupon, you'll pay $5.98 and then get back the $5 in extra bucks, making them only 49 cents each. If you need Glucerna mini treats, these are not a bad deal this week. They are buy three, get back an $8 extra buck. So you can pick up three of them for $19.77 use three of the $3 manufacturer coupons. You'll end up paying $10.77 at the register, getting back an $8 extra buck, making them only 92 cents each. I'm gonna switch CVS cards so that I can do another spend 30 get 10 deal. I'm gonna start out by doing the Cottonelle once again. We're gonna submit over to Shopkick. That deal did reset for me super quick. So we are going to be getting one of the Cottonelle um, two for 10 again and then we're also going to get the wipes two for 10 again using those one dollar coupons to go with our cottonelle and our scott we're going to be grabbing some of the pantene so we're going to get these babies that are 10.99 buy one get one 40 percent off and when you spend the 30 you get back to 10. we don't have any manufacturer coupons but we do have eight dollars back on ibotta we are also going to be grabbing one of the scott these are not tagged but they're in the spend 30 get 10 and they are $5.49. I'm gonna be using a 50 cent printable coupon from the Scott website. All right, you guys, so this is our second spend 30, get back 10 deal. So for this deal, our total before coupons is $32.27. For this baby right here, we're gonna be using the 50 cent printable coupon from the Scott website. For the Cottonelle, we're gonna be using those $1 printable coupons. For the Pantene, I have a four off of 14 Pantene CRT. So after all of our coupons, I am gonna pay $25.57, but then I'm gonna get back a $10 extra buck, which is gonna bring the cost down to $15.57. But then I'm gonna submit back for $4.16 here and $8 here. That $12 back is gonna make my final cost for this deal just $3.61. $3.61, we gonna get the fancy Pantene and three different paper products. Next thing I'm gonna be grabbing is the Palm Olive. So these are buy two, get back a $2 extra buck this week. 
They're $4.69 and they're buy one get one 50% off. So I'm going to be picking up two of them. That's going to total me up to $7.03. We have printable coupons on coupons.com and we also have a $0.75 cent digital. So you can use one of each where I'm sure we can probably submit back to the coupons app as well. So at the register, I'm going to pay $5.53. Then I'm going to get back the $2 in extra bucks. I'm going to make my final cost $3.53. Or 176 each. This week, if you check your weekly ad email from CVS, you want to scroll down to the bottom because you might have this $5 coupon for different products. Now, I attempted to put together a deal with this coupon because these products are spin 20 get five this week along with the set of fill now i ended up scrapping the deal at the register even though it was still a pretty good deal but i wanted it to be free plus a money maker i was like i gotta come back and work this later because i could have stayed in there for like an hour working with this deal because i had different coupons that just kept bouncing back on me but what i plan to do i'm just going to tell you in case you want to put something together is pick up one of the different products for 11.99 and then one of the cetaphil products for 10.99 on the cetaphil product we have a three dollar i bought a rebate so with the four dollar printable coupon for the cetaphil i'll have that link for you to print in the description box and i also printed off a dollar and 75 cent coupon for the different from the different uh, website and that $5 coupon from the uh, CVS email. And I also had two, three off of 10 CVS coupons that would apply. I should have paid $6.23 at the register for this deal and then got back the $5 in extra bucks and the $3 from Ibotta, which would have made these two free, plus a $1.77 moneymaker. Now, what was happening is only one of my $3 coupons was coming off at the register. And then when I swapped out to a more expensive product to get both of them to come off, then my paper coupons started beeping. So that's why I just scrapped the whole deal. But you can definitely work out something with that $5 coupon. So I'll go back later in the week to try to figure this out. But I wanted to let you guys know that this deal was out there. Had I paid that additional $3, these two would have still only cost $1.23. But I didn't want to pay $1.23 when I felt like they should have been super free. If Pert Plus Shampoo is your brand of choice, you can grab the big bottles on regular price special for $5.49. But they're giving back a $3 extra buck when you buy one. So you can buy one. If you have any applicable CRTs, you can add those into the mix. Or you can use no coupons at all. You'll pay the $5.49, get back three makes this two dollars and 49 cents all right you guys so we're gonna go up and do our next transaction we're gonna do our spin 30 again the palm olive and i'm also gonna add in the cover girl lightning strikes by my window it's my chest right in the morning like a warning could have slept here Action went beautifully no issues no hiccups in that deal so we had our Cottonelle our Scott our Pantene our Palm Olive and our two CoverGirl items all of our paper coupons scan just fine I used the four dollars off of the uh, CoverGirl that reduced down once again and that four off of 16 for Pantene I rolled in $30 in extra bucks and that left my subtotal at 338 so we paid out 3338 in that deal and then I did get back a total of $18 in extra bucks so I got back 10 for the spin 30 two for the palm olive and then six for the cover girl then of course we submitted over to the rebate app eight dollars from ibotta and then i also got back four dollars and 16 cents from shopkick so that made our transaction with our scott our dish soap and our cottonelle only cost three dollars and 22 cents I did one last transaction with just two more of the booths and two more of the degree deodorant. All right, you guys, so last transaction was super easy. Just got two of the degree plus the boost. Now I only had a $1, one one dollar coupon for the degree in this transaction. So I made it just a little bit more expensive. So just a dollar more. So I rolled $13 in extra bucks, paid 16 cents out of pocket. And then I did get back 
$11 in extra bucks. So I got back six for the boost and five for the degree. And I also got back $250 on Fetch Rewards, which made that transaction completely free. All right, you guys. So this is our complete CVS haul for today. This haul, I am super excited about the products that we got. We got stocked up on paper. We got a little laundry. I am really, really excited. And we got a lot of deodorant deals this week. And thanks to my store manager, this was all free, plus about a $2 money maker. It would have been a $1 cost without her, but $1 is amazing for all of the items that we got. So let me know if you have any questions. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already. As always, you guys, I thank you so, so much for watching today's video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.